Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to be doing is going over a just a quick review and tutorial of how to use Google Contacts. Now, uh, if you've been using Gmail for some time, you will or well, hopefully would have noticed that uh, you can also manage your contacts easily by clicking on this Gmail button and going into Contacts. Now, Google have actually updated this recently. This is the 2017 version of Google Contacts. And uh, you can see here that I have a few contacts already set up. Now, uh, I actually use contacts quite frequently. I'm always in here looking up numbers and email addresses and things like that. Uh, so I always recommend making a direct link if you can. So if you click and drag the icon down here, you can create a little Google Contacts link in your bookmarks bar, uh, assuming you're using Chrome but uh, this usually works in most web browsers as well. So uh, I just want to go over some of the essentials. Uh, so to create contacts, we can just click on this little plus button here and we can um, type in any information we want. And uh, all this information will be synced to any of our other devices that are using uh, this Gmail account. So this will appear on my phone and my tablet and my other laptop and all this sort of thing. Um, so we're just going to enter in some info we call this home and you can add additional email addresses as well same goes with phone numbers and you can even add uh, all this other extra info as well. So you can add addresses, birthdays, um, anniversaries, websites, relationships, uh, you name it. I'll let you have fun with all those, but uh, you can see that uh, Google Contacts gives you quite a few options there. So I'm going to hit save because we're done here. So we have our new contact. From here we can even uh, directly email if we click on any of these links here or we can uh, star the contact if they're important and we want them to be in our stud or important contacts list. Uh, we can edit the contact and there's a few other options here such as delete or hide. But for now I'm just going to close this and we'll go back to the main contacts page. Now the next thing I want to do is check if there's any duplicates. This tends to happen especially if you're importing. Uh, at the moment we don't have any but uh, you will see a list of contacts that are duplicated and you can, you're can you given the option to merge those if desired. Moving on, uh, we're going to set up some groups. Now there's uh, this has changed slightly since the older version of Google Contacts but it's mostly the same. Uh, groups are managed through what's called labels. So if we put our mouse over any of these contacts, you'll see this checkbox appears. And this will give us some special options. So if you have a look up here, we have some icons that have appeared. We can merge, manage labels, send email, or we have some more actions such as hiding and deleting. But uh, what I want to do is actually set up a group so that we can have a, a fixed set of people that we can email on a regular basis. And I'm going to say that John, Peter and Wendy here are going to be part of our close friends. Now I have made a label already here called Chess Club, but uh, we're actually going to create a new label. So I'm going to create label, we're going to call this Close Friends. Okay. Great. So now we have Close Friends here and it will just contain these three people we've just added. Uh, we also have the chess club here, so we're going to go back to contacts and I'm just going to check a couple of people here and they're going to go into the chess club. Great. So now that we've set up a couple of groups and we have a few people in our groups, uh, I'm going to head back over to Gmail. I'm going to show you how you can compose an email. I'm going to make this full screen. And uh, we can send uh, a group email out to one of these groups. So the way that you would do this is not by typing in here, you know, each person, because that's quite tedious. Uh, instead, we can either click on two, uh, but for most uh, group emails, I usually recommend going to BCC, which is blind carbon copy. So they don't see that they're all being emailed at once. So I'll click on BCC and I'll click on this here to select some contacts. And now I have this drop down menu. I can select them manually if I want, but uh, 
we can also click on this button here. We can actually select a specific group. And now I can select all these people. Uh, I can unselect one if you know I don't want to actually send this to the work address of someone. But then we just click select. And now those people will be entered in. And now I can just type my email with some content, attach files, edit, and then hit send once we're done. But uh, we're not gonna do that, so we're just gonna hit discard. Uh, so that's about it for now. I uh, just wanted to go over some of the essentials of managing your contacts and, uh, and your groups and how to set up a little group email. Hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, until next time, thank you for listening.